grace we have been saved through faith And it's not from ourselves It is the gift of God Not by our works so that no one can boast We are called to be free But we do not use our freedom To live for sin And so we serve and love each other Created in Christ Jesus to do good works Which God prepared for us to do That we might bear Him fruit Cause He took our hurt We worship the Father in spirit and truth Our spiritual worship is bearing good fruit We once were in darkness but now we are children of light Our lives are a living sacrifice You know, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is like any town USA. Yeah, it's just that when you start to see the people, you see how different it is. It's not the end, sir. There are whatever's in there, but... Um, it's got it all, they've got it all gated off now so you can't get into this. The street ends here now. It didn't used to. So these homes right here are all inside the wall now. Interesting. No trespassing signs are all over the place. Huh, this whole block. I just rolled it all off. Interesting. Well, no, there's a lot of a lot of houses that have walls like this around them, but that's different. <laughs> it's like a whole block. block. Yeah. Here you'll see Warren Jeff's house, and it's like it's like the walls of Jericho. <laughs> so I guess the chances of us going in there and an answer is pretty slim. So this is Warren Jeff's compound right here with the high walls, and Chip says uh, they resemble the walls of Jericho. Uh, <laughs> this is this is Chip over here. He said that. <laughs> Oh, they're finishing the walls, too. Oh, over here? Yeah, they, those weren't up last time we were here. You can sell the new. So this is it. And the Prophet, of course, has the biggest house in the neighborhood. Of course. <laughs> Look at the view. Wow. This? The storehouse annex. Ooh, that guy saw me with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be like that, you know. Looks like it. Oh, look at the tourists! It's just like it's a school. It's a school. They've had a school? No, it's but it's not used. They don't use their school. Here. Why not? They don't do it. They don't go to school. They do homeschool, I guess. But you're invited to a free barbecue. We got music and fun activities, sharing the love of Jesus. And that's what those two fellows are doing right there. They're out handing out invitations. In Hilldale, Utah. Well, I guess, this is no trespassing, so... We could leave one here on the... We'll just leave them on the gates here. Good idea. For people. Yeah, there's houses back up in there, I'm sure. They're making this a compound. Oh. This whole thing's a compound. Hmm. Wait, is this separate from what we were just in? Yeah, well, this is Colorado City still. So. See this whole thing right here? This used to be a street that you used to be able to drive through. And they blocked both sides off. And see, they put this wall around. See, they've got no parking anywhere.
time. They've got no trespassing on every gate. And so there's a, they've got a whole compound that they've made that they live inside of it and they, nobody can get in there. You can't see in, you can't anything. Well, and the homes are generally not finished. Um, and they do that in order to avoid paying taxes to the government. And they call it um, bleeding, bleeding the government or bleeding the man, you know. So and the whole the idea, wire. if you go left here, sorry. I didn't know the whole idea would be that they want to avoid having any authority over them other than their profit. So when you look, you can see homes that are partially finished and they won't ever be finished. They'll leave their, in their minds, that's as, as finished as they're gonna get. Um, another thing they have had with different profits, a lot of food regulations. And so you'll see a lot of greenhouses and things like that, and they're really nice greenhouses, but it's because of the, I'm sure, whatever food regulations have been given. And that's what a profit does. They in order to control, they bring more rules. And the more rules they give, the more control they have. You see a lot of goats too. Yeah, a lot of goats to do, you know, their dairy. Little orchards. And, you know, what's interesting is we've been coming here for five years. And one thing I'm distinctly noticing that's different this year is that the children are not dressed as strictly as they used to be dressed. The children used to be dressed strictly in jean shirts with long sleeves and um, jean jumpers and, and they had the hair in the braids. And this year I'm just seeing a lot of children that are not in, I guess, what you would consider regulation FLDS dress, which is really comforting. Um, also, I don't know about the rest of you, but we, I am also noticing a little bit more reception to us being here. People are not as fearful. I think that now that we've been coming this many years that, that they feel like maybe they can trust us a little bit more. And that's a huge phrase compared Amen. to six years ago when no one had come here before. And it was a very fearful. Um, I know that I can't remember if it was last year or the year before, Shane and I had an opportunity to spend the afternoon with about 12 teenage boys that are probably no longer here because they're probably sons of perdition that have probably been kicked out of the community. I'm, I'm hoping and praying that we'll see some of them today. Um, and it breaks my heart because Sign one of the girl. boys said that they, in their immediate family, so that's dad and sister wives and children, there was over 300 people in their immediate family. So, I, and he was a Jessup. So, I just, um, I, I'm hoping that they'll be there tonight. Amen. From what I understand, there's another man who's also professing to be prophet. But the one who I believe is the one that Warren Jeffs is not 100% and opposed to has been basically claiming who is worthy and who is unworthy and so that's dividing this community in half where you may have unworthy children or you may have an unworthy wife yes or no on going through it go through it <laughs> what have we got to lose really it's our lives <laughs> it's just our lives <laughs> it says storehouse annex so this must be where they come to get their go. food This is like their warehouse. Okay, that that little girl is still dressed in the in the historical FLBS garb. I don't think it does I think go through. If you make a right, it should go through. Let's make a right. Let's see what's on. Oh wow, they're all in line. There's one woman and how many men? Yeah. That's polyandry. <laughs> <laughs> the 
thing that breaks my heart so much is the la the the fear that they live in, in, and then just you know, like I think about today, the day after Good Friday, and how yesterday we as believers can rejoice in the freedom and the joy that we've been given. And when you look into the eyes of these people in this community, there is no joy, and they're definitely not experiencing experiencing freedom. Yeah, I noticed that as you know, we were taking invitations to the barbecue up to houses. When the kids would see us, they would run. Yes. And there was one little girl that I said hi to her, and she did say hi back. And I smiled real big at her and um, invited her to the barbecue. And she didn't say anything, but she did look at me and just smiled. So that was good. Yeah. Apparently, David Flynn had an opportunity with a little boy that they had dropped a flyer off, and he had stuck his head out of the gate. He was about 10. He was like, I can't believe we're invited to the barbecue. <laughs> and then his sister reached through the gate and grabbed his collar and jerked him back into the fence. But And then he said after we left, why can't we go? Yeah. Right at that picnic table right there just a minute ago, there were six or seven sister wives sitting there. And as I started to walk up to invite them to the barbecue this afternoon, they all got up and just they walked away. They they wouldn't even talk to me. And just went and they got on a car and left. Well, here we are in Helldale, Utah. Yep. For the big picnic, we handed out a couple of, what, a couple of thousand flyers today, or a thousand or so? And we got a picnic, barbecue. It's gonna be starting up here in an hour or two. We're hoping a lot of people show up from the FLDS community. God is good. <laughs> Kid's barely big enough to see over the handlebars. <laughs> He's like five years old or something. <laughs> this is a giant slide. Going Here we go. Ah! <laughs> okay, yeah, from there. Did you invite him to the barbecue? I sure did. You know what they say? Is, you know, he's on duty and he has things he has to do, and so he's going to have to turn me down. But it sounded real good, and he'd love to have it. All right. I should have made a plate up from taking it down. That would have been a great idea. <laughs> good job.
Yes, she did. That was her. <laughs> you loved it? On purpose? Yeah, on purpose. No, on accident. Sorry. She was trying to move it over a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, I've never charged for Oh, we'll go get more. It's no big deal. It's free. You're forgiven. I'm sorry. It's free water. I, it was an accident. It's free water, yeah. Like, it's you know, it wasn't like I was like... You like, could do that seven times today and I still would have to forgive you because Jesus said so. Thank you. Do you want me to lay out your block and get water? Okay. This is going to warm up. Oh, no, we can take a lemonade. No, I don't have. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> you taught me everything I needed to know. I was born in the you had to go to the center. That's what we started with. I taking off stuff, and then now I've got my car. I know. grace we have been saved through faith and this not from ourselves it is the gift of God not by our works so that no one can boast we are called to be free but we do not use our freedom to live for sin and so we serve and love each other Created in Christ Jesus to do good works Which God prepared for us to do That we might bear Him